Okay, today is March 30th, uh, 2015. It's 4.18 p.m. now. I went out to the uh, mailbox earlier to check the mail, and I saw that Earl Gray had sent me uh, a package, an envelope uh, of, of, of Wonder Woman uh, stuff that we had talked about on, uh, on Facebook on March 24th, morning of the 25th. I told him all about my telephone call from outer space on December 17th, 1987, and that Linda Carter had figured into it. She was Wonder Woman, and she was starring. I was watching The Love Goddess as Linda Carter, starring as Rita Hayworth. You can see my video, The Shadows of Illusia. I wrote a song. I did a video of, uh, with Linda Carter in it. Anyway, in, in the envelope here that Earl sent um, uh, was the Wonder Woman... Uh, comic, I mean, Noah article, and his card here. Uh, yeah, his address is on the back. We don't want it, people, <laughs> anyway. So here's the Wonder Woman article. This is the uh, first page, the origin, the original story of Wonder Woman. That's uh, uh, page uh, six, 55, I believe, anyway. And here's uh, the pages that are in the article that he sent. It happens that his wife works at Warner Brothers. And Wonder Woman, coincidentally, is uh, owned by uh, Warner Brothers. Just another coincidence, the synchronicity in me and Earl's life. I met Earl on Facebook. Uh, I was looking for friends to add, and I saw in his timeline he had a UFO flying by a planet, and I thought, is this guy into uh, flying saucers, UFOs, just, you know, you're really into it, or just uh, has a casual interest, and I, so I sent him an email, a Facebook message, turns out he's been into UFOs, flying saucers all of his life, his mother worked for Howard Hughes and Lockheed Martin Marietta, by the way, Lockheed is where Ben Rich uh, worked, and Ben Rich is, says that UFOs are real. So that means that Earl's mother probably cleared Ben Rich because she cleared all the scientists that worked for Lockheed Martin. She knew Werner von Braun and, and Oberth. I think it was Oberth said the Roswell incident was a time machine. And as a result of my uh, telephone call that I answered on December 17th, 1987 at 1.20 a.m. while I was watching Linda, Linda Carter's The Love Goddess. Uh, Love Goddess is Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth was on the Guild Able bomb, dropped at Operation Crossroads, peacetime test bomb. And then I discovered the, the, the Columbia teletype, which is uh, dated July 9th, 1947, which uh, Ben Sirkowitz, a uh, publicity man, is talking to Nate Spingold about using the, the Roswell UFO disc uh, story that was in the newspapers and on the radio to publicize their upcoming release of Down to Earth, which is Rita Hayworth starring as... Uh, uh, Terp Sickery, the ninth muse. Now look here on the last page is the nuclear option of the Wonder Woman article that Earl sent. And coincidentally, I told Earl that uh, I discovered that uh, from September 1st, 1939, when Hitler attacked uh, Pearl uh, Har uh, when attacked uh, Poland uh, to uh, the, uh, the Pearl Harbor, which is when Wonder Woman was more or less uh, released around close to in December 41. Um, that you go to uh, December six, December seventh, forty-one times the golden section one point six one eight zero three three nine eight eight seven five etc. Twice equals Hiroshima and Nagasaki. What a coincidence! And then here uh, on the back is a nuclear option. Uh, on the final page here, Ms. Uh, and then I'd gotten into the Roswell incident as a result of uh, watching the Love Goddess. And on that telephone call, I heard the, the words from outer space, and I told myself to not to forget the New Age Harmonies article uh, in the uh, December 7th, 1987 Time magazine. And I went back and after the call, and I read the words, If one can place any faith in Steven Spielberg movies, E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the visitors from outer space are benign and friendly folk. And the words uh, f uh, 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 from outer space appear one more time in the article, uh, in reference to channeling. So in regards to channeling, is there any interest uh, by anyone in channeling? Well, what do you know? Remote viewers, uh, they're interested in remote viewing. 
and uh, channeling. So there you go there. Thanks, Earl, for sending me this stuff to me. And by the way, who, who created uh, Wonder Woman was William Moulton Marson. That's what this article is all about. And get Max Ginsburg contacted Marson. Read the article. And when you take Marson's death from Ginsburg to Ginsburg's death, 110 days divided by the golden section. Uh, Marson died on May 2, 1947, of cancer. And Ginsburg died in a boat accident in Lake Placid. 110 days divided by the golden section equals July 8, 9, 1947. That's when uh, July 8 was when uh, the article was released on Roswell to the world. And July 9th, it was uh, uh, rescinded by Roger Ramey. Uh, and the July 9th is the date of the Columbia teletype where Ben Sirkowitz is uh, called uh, Nate Spinbox, Spingold, suggesting that they use uh, the Roswell incident, UFO, and the Flying Saucers uh, stories on newspapers and radio worldwide as a publicity stunt to uh, 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 hawk their move, upcoming release of the Rita Hayworth movie, Down to Earth. Down to Earth, in spite of her her name being on on the uh, Operation Crossroads, Bikini Peacetime uh, bomb, atomic bomb test, and their upcoming release of Down to Earth. Well, what a coincidence, I would say. And then July 9th, 1947, was also the date of the special flight of this of the B-29 301 straight flush to uh, take the debris, the bodies to Fort Worth. Well, they were, uh, my friend William, my uh, contact, William Quigley I've talked to, said that he guarded that bomb pit when the CIC from Alamogordo was uh, loading the, uh, the, practicing loading at night, the 291. Well, it turned out it was that crate full of aliens. Since the last moment, the 291's bomb bay wouldn't hold the crate, so they put it in the 301. Well, the crew, the crew of the 291 is uh, uh, the crew of Necessary Evil. It's a plane that my friend Jim Barron is from the hometime, hometown, very hometown that I'm from. Give me the names of the people to call. William Quigley was one of them. What a coincidence. July 9th, 1947 falls at the golden section between the creator of, uh, of uh, Wonder Woman and the comic book man, uh, uh, Ginsburg. And their name, Charles Moulton, is the name derived from both of their, both of their middle names. Uh, the golden section, the pattern that connects. There it is. Thank you, Earl. Earl. Great, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, Einstein's Gypsy Rebels. And on that CD, it just happens coincidentally to be a song I wrote called Zeta, Zeta Reticuli that I put on there because of the Roswell incident. Earl Gray.